Welcome back everyone, as always, it's a blessing to be here. In this video, we will discuss, did Ripple just dump 75 million, okay, unlocked XRP? So in this article, which I'll put a screenshot up of, it's basically reported that Ripple transacted 75 million unlocked XRP on October 16th from the 200 million tokens that had been held since October's escrow. So as we know, we know Ripple basically releases some type of specific um, XRP tokens every single month, and they've been doing it from the escrow. But let's just try to figure out what's going on, right? So these transactions basically are part of XRP's monthly inflation and are typically used by Ripple for strategic purposes, like responding to market opportunities. So there have been a lot of talks about Ripple dumping or even just erasing half of the supply. And David Schwartz came out and said, this is not true. So those are just rumors, right? But they're still doing this escrow, which we've been knowing to know. We've, we've been knowing that they've been doing it for a very, very long time. So, but on the same day, Ripple spent 75 million XRP cons coinciding with rumors in the cryptocurrency market, right? About the SEC's approval of BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF. And this happened yesterday when Cointelegraph allegedly made a tweet, right? They did make a tweet, to be honest, and said, breaking news, BlackRock ETF or BlackRock Bitcoin ETF has been approved by the SEC. Then the price of Bitcoin jumped up to around 29,900 from around 27.8. So over a thousand dollar jump over, I believe it was a hundred million dollars or 70, 70 million dollars liquidated within just one hour on Bitcoin alone, okay? And that is very interesting because that news triggered so much buying into Bitcoin. That lets us know if something happens with the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF, we should expect a bull run already. So we had a pre-bull run, right? Because of this little pump that we had for Bitcoin with this fake news. I don't believe it's fake news at the end of the day. I present you guys with the truth and the facts. Whatever you believe, whatever you do with your money is your decision. But I believe that it was strategically placed, okay? And there, when she came out and spoke on a panel yesterday, it was very iffy to me. You know, she came and said, hey, basically, uh, it wasn't an accident and the people that lost their money, it's their fault. You know what? It's not even our fault. We try to get the news first, so... Whoever gave us the news, but anyways, it's not our fault, it's your fault. And that makes no sense, right? She didn't even accept blame. They didn't even go all the ways to say, hey, we apologize for this. We won't repeat this mistake. We know this was huge. It's a matter in a social media post. And yes, this was disastrous. And this is an example of what cannot happen. But this is what happens when we are having constant pressure to be the first with every news. And this is not a problem of, uh, of journalism per se. It's a problem of the society that, and of the technology. I'm talking about indexation on Google, I'm talking about social media, where if you're not the first, you're the last. There is no second, third, etc. And this is a big problem. ...news to move the markets, and we shouldn't have done this on our end. That's what they should have said, but they didn't say that. That lets us know what side they're on, okay? So again, this news caused a rapid but temporary increase in the price of Bitcoin, as just mentioned right now, and also affected other cryptocurrencies, including XRP, as even XRP shot up to around 50 cents. Everything has been drastically moving, Okay. And still is holding the position. Even Bitcoin right now is at 28,567. XRP is at 49 cents. So all of these push up we've been seeing. But also it's noted that Ripple had already spent, okay, they already spent 60 million unlocked XRP on October 10. And the recent transaction followed a similar pattern. So we see what's going on, right? So the tokens were distributed through several accounts before being deposited in batches into various exchanges, suggesting that they were likely sold, right? At the end of the day, we don't know everything 100%, but it just suggested to us that they're probably sold 
And that's what happened. They're moving this amount of XRP. But the article again discusses the impact of these transactions on XRP's purchasing power for its holders like yourself and myself, right? All of the holders of XRP included and in both short and long term. So it also provided a detailed breakout of how the tokens were moved between the various addresses, suggesting that the addresses involved in these sell-offs may belong to the same entity. To the same entity. This is the main thing we need to mention, right? It could be the same entity, the same channel, the same wallet, moving all these things and leading back to the one. Okay, leads all the way back to the one. But again, guys, finally, it's mentioned that the ongoing monthly inflation and the token unlocks could have a long-term effect on XRP's price, potentially reducing its value com compared to all-time high market capitalization. Again, we ignore the market cap when we talk about XRP mostly. You should always ignore the market cap when you see the utility that the token provides. You do your own research, but this is what I presented to you. If you have any questions, any comments, Put them in the comment section below. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Peace out.